Title Mix FX has a comprehensive set of effects built in. On the Fireface UFX and on the UCX, this runs on an onboard DSP chip, so there is no load on your computer system. On every input and every output, there is an independent three band parametric EQ located under the EQ tab. You can see it here on 8.1 and 2, again on 7 and 8, and also on the hardware outputs. Also, under the Dynamics tab, D, you'll find a compressor, expander, and auto level feature. Both on the hardware inputs and the hardware outputs. To use an effect, just switch it on. So for example, auto level on 8 out of 5 and 6 on the inputs. Press the on switch, it lights up, and your effect is active. Auto level is a great feature, it will bring down the level on your mic input if it goes beyond the threshold. Great for offering some protection against an over enthusiastic singer. As well as all these effects, you have an FX bus. Let's open it up. This is where you can configure your reverb and echo. On every input and every software output, you've got an FX send fader. Here, for example, on mic 9. This controls the amount of signal sent into the FX bus. You can see it's a dual control with this rotary here. OK, let's send some signal to the FX bus. You can see over here we have input appearing in the FX bus. You can now turn on a reverb, turn on the echo, and maybe select a preset. So for example, choose a factory preset, Vocal Heaven, and again on the echo. The great thing is, you don't have to go in on day one and start twiddling the knobs. You can just set, select a factory preset. All the effects, EQ, dynamics, etc., have a number of presets for a variety of occasions. Okay, so now you can see we've got output signal on our FX bus. Using any of the FX return faders on your outputs, you can mix this wet signal from the FX bus into your submix. So for example, I can select 8 at 9 and 10. I can send some of the dry signal using the main routing functionality and then mix in some of the wet signal from the FX bus. Again, it's a dual control in the spanner symbol. You've got the rotary. Combine the dry and wet signal to your liking. A really powerful feature. now got a flavour 
of what the new Total Mix FX can do. But one of the biggest improvements in this version is ease of use. There are a variety of tools to make day-to-day -to -day usage of Total Mix faster and easier to get to grips with. For example, you've got Undo Redo over here. Great for when you make a mistake and want to backtrack. On top of that, all the effects have a variety of presets. All the EQ, the dynamics, the reverb echo. So for example, I can select a preset from the factory presets for my EQ, say bass drum. Turn on my EQ. You can even save your favorite settings to your own presets. So if I have a particular EQ setting I like, I can save that to an EQ preset and recall it later. You can even change the view. For example, minimizing channels to slim view. On top of that, you've also got the option to save your routings as snapshots over here. So I could save the routings we set up today simply by clicking store and selecting mix seven, for example. Now, if I go in and change some routings, Mix 7 starts to flash, indicating we are now different to the saved mix settings, but I can recall them quickly, simply by clicking on Mix 7. Groups are another great time saver. Down here, you have four mute groups, four solo groups, and four fader groups. For example, I want to set up a mute group Hit edit, select mute group one. And I want to mute all the ADA outputs. Hit mute on each channel of the ADA outputs. Click on edit once again. I now have a mute group. I can toggle on and off. Similarly with solo groups and also with fader groups. So for example, edit fader group one. Let's select the AES fader, one of the ADAT faders and a headphone fader. Click edit again. You've saved your fader group. You now have a ganged group of faders. You can quickly toggle on and off. If I turn it off, we revert to individual control. If, for example, some of the labels get confusing in the control room, you can select O names, original names, and you can see to which channels they relate to. Here we have analog five and six, seven and eight, analog one and two, the two headphone outputs on the front of the UFX. We can switch back to the control room labels. Once you have everything how you like it or set up for a particular project, you can save all settings, routings, FX, everything to a workspace file. Just hit file, save workspace as and you can save your entire workspace to a single file you can transfer this file between computers and have your configuration just a double click away there are a number of ways you can control total mix 
it will respond to MIDI commands or Mackie protocol. So you could use a Behringer BCF, for example, to give you some faders to play with. Or you could have a go with a third party iPad app, AC7. All the MIDI commands are listed in the back of the manual, so check that out for more details. There is also a specially designed RME remote control available for the UFX and the UCX, which has a number of programmable buttons assignable to all sorts of features in Total Mix. But that is worthy of another video, so we'll address that separately. Total Mix FX is a vastly powerful mixer, and hopefully, you've had a glimpse of the possibilities today. Ultimately, it is designed so that you can get to grips with it slowly and uncover more and more features as time goes on. You hardly have to touch it on day one if you don't want to. But as you use it more and more and get an understanding of its capabilities, you'll find it impossible to be without.